time to take your seat. Massey's offside. That way from the score. There's no one there. Well done, Lee! <laughs> oh, 
pass. Now I'm joined here by Longford Town Manager Dara Doyle following a disappointing 4 1 defeat to draw the United. Dara, we, in my opinion, dominated the second half and just two goals cost us in the end. Yeah, no, we did. We're, we were disappointed to go in at 2-0 down at half, a half time. They caused us a lot of problems in the first half on, on the break and um, we found ourselves two goals behind. So we've gone in at half time knowing that we needed to be an awful lot better in the second half and looking for a reaction from the players. And we definitely got that from our players. We came out in the second half and really put it up to them. Uh, we got back into the game, getting a goal. I think one or two other decisions could go our way. I can't understand why... Nobody, no official, anybody can see Rob Manley being pulled down in the box, which, which should be a penalty. I, I just don't understand that it's it's crazy. Um, obviously, then it's 2-1 and we're on top. And we, listen, we want to try and get something from the game. So we have to put some players on from an attacking side to try and get something from the game. And sometimes that can happen when you put some players on to go after a game that you leave yourselves a bit more exposed and open at the back. And that happened there this evening with two late, late goals for them to put a gloss on a 4-1 win when... Listen, it was looking like we were the ones likelier to get back to the game to be 2 all. so it's, it's really disappointing that we're 4-4-1 four, four, this evening. I think you're right because you know a lot of the draw the supporters even said to me after the game it looked like we were going to ca- get the equaliser and possibly push on for a winner so to end the one at the end of a 4-1 scoreline it really doesn't tell the tale of the night but looking at the overall game you know you made a few decisions in the second half to bring in certain players you know uh, Aaron McNally came on I thought he was very good for the time he was on the pitch Yeah listen and, and Aaron's been a player that we haven't had available to us much this year he's only been back training in a couple of training sessions and listen we all know how good he is and can be and will be for this club so I'm delighted we've got him on for a half today for the games that come forward he'll be a huge asset for us going forward to have him involved Connor Davis got minutes um, again I thought Callum Thompson caused him a lot of problems there in today's game and it's great to see him show a bit of what he is really about because he probably hasn't got a chance to really do that for a club at the moment but um, listen the lads really came out and tried everything they could to get back into the game and it wasn't to be this evening unfortunately Look we can't really focus too much on, on results uh, you know we always say the games come ticking fast yeah. and we're at home again on Saturday to Shamrock Rovers who lost out to Sligo tonight in Talley so you know or in Sligo should I say you know it, it's Shamrock Rovers it's never easy against them but we have a very young confident team no matter what the result each week and we're going to go into that game on Saturday confident again Yeah listen we'll be ready for the game come the weekend we definitely will be listen there's lots of disappointed players in there with the fact that we haven't picked up the points that we would like to have done but the lads in there I have no doubt will respond they will react and we'll be ready come Saturday Thanks, sir. Now, full time here at Head in the Game Park. Drogheda United have ran out 4 1 winners against Longford Town. Drogheda totally dominated the first half of tonight's game. They were 2 0 up at half time, but Longford came out with a barnstorming start to the second half. Aaron Dobbs got on the score sheet, and then it was relentless Longford pressure, attack after attack. But uh, late in the game, Longford gambled. They went for the equaliser, and uh, Drogheda picked them off on the break with a couple of goals from Super Sub. Jordan Adeyemo so a 4-1 the final score that's the second time this season Gary Longford have conceded four goals against Strata in a game that they were really in in the second half so it's a, it's a really sour note to end the game on conceding those those particularly that last goal where the town defence just parted like the Red Sea uh, yeah like the Look, that last goal probably isn't we're talking about. I think the heads were were completely gone at that point. Um, even some of the, uh, I, I, I don't think you could even call them challenges that went in when. Uh, and know, that was a constant the theme of this game tonight, wasn't it? The amount of times Strada ran through the Longford midfield, uh, breaking tackles with ease. It's it, it just the tackling and the defending at times was really it left a lot to be desired. It, it, it did, yeah. No, uh, but it's probably not entirely fair. I'd, so just portions of the game are seem to have been. I don't know, was it lack of concentration or something like that? Or I just thought when Drotter ran at us tonight, we looked really uncomfortable and yeah. they were breaking a lot of tackles, as I said. They were breaking a lot of tackles, but I think we saw that against Ligo last uh, last Friday. No, 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 just go, go through the fella. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's standing there with the ball. Leave, just go leave a, I know it probably sounds like old fashioned talk, but leave a marker down there. If a fella beats yeah. you once, you check him the next time. You might pick up an early yellow, but. But, but but even like like soft old challenges going in, yeah, it, it wasn't fantastic. Even like in the last goal there, going through the motions type of stuff, which is quite disappointing to see, uh, and not something that we saw we've seen a lot of this year. But I suppose you know you're going for an equaliser, two one down. The third one goes in, and you know the fourth one is a deep. The third one in itself is very soft because it comes off a throw in. Um, there's a throw in. I'm not sure who gets the flick. There's a lovely like back heel and that plays out AMO in, but that's on the edge of your own area. You should be better organised than that. At this stage of the game, Longford were, they had gambled, they'd made a number of changes. Um, Dean yeah. Zambra had gone off at this stage. Yeah. Again, I wonder if Zambra was there, would we be better organised from that throw? And I know you have to take these risks, but it probably didn't pay off replacing Dean Zambra with Aaron Bulger. No, it didn't. I think um, I think Dean, Dean Zambra was having a good game. He was, he was keep, keeping things the defense, t- yeah. ticking over and you know we needed that. And we've said it so many times about when he's not on the pitch, we really do miss him. Yeah, we really do miss him. Um, I, I do want to point out our McNally, I thought. Um, Phenomenal. Yeah. Great to have him back. Um, not, not that Chamber had a bad game, he, he was on a yellow. But just to have Aaron McNally, I thought he was he's more... Direct. Direct uh, and good going forward as well. And he still put in a couple of balls. Even he was under a bit of pressure there, I think, um, early on. Um, in, in the second half. He just whipped it in. Three, yeah. 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 Uh, and there was no, 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 no pricking. <laughs> you know, like, the, but like that, that, that's sometimes what we see. The, at least Aaron, Aaron was able to get the ball. He in was early. one of the few t- uh, town players I thought that every time he got a, his intent was to run and yeah. run at the defence. And yeah. as you said, if there's nothing he can see, he's just getting the ball into the mixer, and making things happen. Yeah. I thought Rob Manley did the same as well. Anytime he picked it up here on the edge of the area, drove. first thought in his mind: turn and drive and yeah. see can I create something, win a free kick, get a shot away. Yeah. Not enough town players did that tonight. Their first thought was always backwards or sideways yeah. and dropped it, kind of sniffed onto that, pushed up on us, picked yeah. us off. Yeah, I thought um, particularly um, probably in the first half, I know Drogheda were on top and they went in at the break 2-0 up, but uh, there are times I find that um, when we, when Longford receive a ball, uh, and Longford really receives the ball, it's it, check back. It's check back. back. And that... That re- takes away from the, you know, the momentum. It, it allows Drata to set back. as well. It allows set their traps. Set, and also to set up, or step up. Yeah. And then we're under pressure in how can we get out of the situation we've completely created for ourselves. Um, it, it's quite, it was frustrating to watch. But like that, that's not taken away from, from Drata. I thought they were very particularly good in the first mm. half. They, we had a couple of half chances and stuff like that, but I think... Uh, Drada were under no pressure in the first half. Drada should have been further ahead at half time, but again, like the game down in Bishopsgate, um, particularly tonight, it was very much more prevalent in this game. All four goals are hugely avoidable from a Longford Town yeah. point of view. Um, I know there's a lot of power in the Ronan Murray free kick, but Lee Stacey gets two solid hands to it. He's beaten on his near post. Um, the second one then, Mark Doyle picks it up from an improbable angle. He's allowed to turn inside the area and get across, uh, get a shot across and squeeze it in. He shouldn't be getting a shot away there. Uh, Longford had bodies around him. They should have shown him out to the corner flag. And we've already touched on the last two goals where Longford are, are done on the break and the defending left a lot to be desired. But all four goals, totally avoidable tonight uh, very avoidable I, I, th- I think a point that need, needs to be you know Ronan Murray can't hit it I know the, the jibber jabber has been about Dan Massey this week but uh, Ronan, Ronan Murray, Murray can't, can't takes that, he takes that type of free kick in every game yeah it, it was pretty much from, from here a bit further over and you just knew he was yeah. pinging it yeah, yeah. And why are Longford not set up better there uh, I, I don't know um Look, Lee will probably be disappointed with that, especially getting two hands to it. But still, at the same time, he hasn't been playing the last two games, so you know you might give him a break on that one. But still, at the same time, that's that's like Ronan Murray is going to shoot. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, like it's not, it's not like you know. You're I just gambling on the fact he's, he's yeah. not going to hit the target. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and that's you know you, you can't take those risks. No. Um, not with a player like him. No, he has the ability to do it. So I think. Um, th- They'd be disappointed, like Lee in particular, especially getting two hands to it. But I don't think they were wise enough to, to that being a possibility yeah. as well. So, so good. It, it's, it's in a position of the pitch where most players wouldn't shoot from. They try and get across him. Mm. But as I said, I've seen Murray do that countless times. Yeah. Um, no, he's so. not afraid of it. Like so, you know, we just need to be wiser. Yeah. You know? and, um, and it's quite disappointing that while we were while Drogheda were on top, it was still a set piece goal that they got. 
Do you know what I mean? It wasn't wonderful, amazing play, or carbless opener or anything like that. It was a free kick, direct went directly into the goal. So. And, and, and like in Sligo last week, Longford are doing okay up until that point. They're, they're competitive, yeah. they're in the game, um, and then you gift a goal to the opposition and allow them to start playing. That's right. Um, it's quite disappointing to you know to come up here and be under pressure, but still still be in the game. And now we're looking at you know going in one 0 down, and then a few minutes later, you know, nearly on the break uh, at half time, we're. 2-0 down mm. um, and it was a, look Mark Doyle did very well he's having a great season coming up from the first division um, he's, he's scoring goals but I thought it was quite disappointing to get the to concede like that um, yeah. n- not I, I, can, I, I watched it but I didn't really understand what was happening and then the ball was in the net yeah. it was strange it seemed to be a bit of ball watching going on I don't, I don't really know what I think happened, maybe again it's one of them where the angle he's at he's probably surprised him taking the shot on maybe he's taking it on early but again he he received that on the on the half turn kind of he shouldn't be allowed to then just turn and, and yeah. pick a spot it, it's too cheap uh, very cheap very cheap and that changes you know whatever about being under the pressure in the first half we were still only 1-0 down mm. you know and we did make changes and stuff like that in the second half to counteract that but we were 2 nil down so we were always under serious pressure um, a lot of it caused by ourselves mm. again I know it's frustrating for the people at home we can talk about positives here and we're talking about positives every week there was a lot of positives in the second half the way the team came out and fought and the goal they got through Dobbs because we haven't scored a lot of goals this season no. McNally's performance and I thought Callum Thompson had a good game yeah, as well did, yeah. and again you said Dean Zamba was very good until he went off and again Aaron O'Driscoll we've conceded four tonight but he's barely put a foot wrong in the game yeah, there, was, there was lots of little individual <laughs> let's not even say Mick put a foot wrong no, either. Neither. no uh, there was uh, again lots of little individual um, performances and positives but again it's another defeat we've got Shamrock Rovers at home now before the break yep. <sighs> we said it last week it's just really hard to turn this momentum all of a sudden yeah it is and look uh, I'm not going to say I have the answers because uh, believe me I don't uh, the answers to nothing um, look uh, I think the break is coming up at, at a good time it allowed the players to get away from each other you know there's a lot of games in a short period of time they're probably sick looking at each other to a certain extent <laughs> sick of looking at us talking sick looking at us talking, talking rubbish as well but I think look a week away need well it needs to do to the world of good because we're not in a great position at the moment um, so whatever possibilities there are of coming into the second half of the season after the break with a bit more uh, impetus about us mm. um, it, it'll be great but look Shamrock Rovers coming up on Saturday Champions League final as well uh, it'll be a busy day of football but I think um, setting up the sim- in a similar fashion to um, in how we set up in Tala and you know, be more compact try and counteract what they what they do because they're after suffering you know, a couple of defeats that they yeah. lost again tonight um, and that one in particular against Stock would be sore for them so they'll be out for blood uh, on Saturday because they'll be looking to go in on a high for the break as well so uh, tough game on Saturday in Bishop's Gate tough game at Bishopsgate on Saturday but uh, that is the Sunday show wrapped up um, or when is the show <laughs> so many games now I'm losing track of the days but unfortunately another defeat for Longford Town here tonight in Adrada but Longford Town play Shamrock Rovers at home on Saturday and we'll speak to you from Bishopsgate then thanks for watching time to take your seat